dear students today we discuss about this this is the continuation of chapter 2 here we discuss about this pollination about this pollination what is called pollination pollination means the mechanism of transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stem of a pistil is termed as pollination so in your previous class uh, we have discussed that pollination sort of two different types one is called the self pollination and other is called the cross pollination but here here we discuss about this uh, three different types of kinds of pollination there are three different types of pollination one is called autogamy the another is called the zygogamy autogamy zygogamy and another is called the zygogamy so here you see auto auto means what auto means self means when when the transfer of pollen grain takes place or occurs within the same flower within the same flower here you see the process of transfer of pollen grain from the anther to the the anther to the stem of the same flower single flower single by sexual flower where you find the stamen where you find the pistil so the anther the pollen grain will come out from the anther of the same flower and it will transfer to the different or the same same flower of the uh, stem of the same flower so this is known as what this is known as uh, autogamy and then another another point that is to be noted here some plants think about this iola some plants will think about this iola oxalis iola oxalis and comelina so the produce two different types of flowers you can find it in your page number page number that is uh, 28 page number 28 you can see the picture that that is iola oxalis comelina they they produce generally two types of flowers one is called uh, jasmogamous flower very much important for your examination one is called jasmogamous flower and another is called Crystal gamas flower, crystal gamas flower, and crystal gamas flower. So crystal gamas flower means what? It is similar to the other plant, the other plant. Uh, here you see that both the uh, both the stamens, both the stamens and uh, anthers and stigma, they are exposed, exposed, just like the other flower. You can find it anywhere. So. the 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 anthers and uh, the anthers and stigma they are exposed exposed means uh, you can you can see them uh, from the outside but here you see uh, so that is known as the uh, chesmogamous flower chesmogamous flower and uh, which is formed to the upper part upper part of the plant body and in case of the clistogamous flower so it is formed to the a uh, lower part of the plant body in case of the cristogamas so the which do not open at all in case of the cristogamas so in case of cristogamas they do not open up on and just uh, just like uh, uh, the stamens and the stamens and pistil the stamens and pistil always enclosed or closed over over and so there is uh, no no chances of the cross pollination because if the flower cannot expose the flower so uh, there is uh, no no chances there is no chance of this uh, cross pollination means pollen from outside uh, will not enter inside this the stigma so that is the autogamy it is functionally uh, that is that is what Which are similar to the flowers exposed to, and cristogamma, uh, which do not open at all. These flowers are invariably autogamous. These flowers are invariably 
what we are now. And the last one that is uh, uh, sorry, diplogram. Second one, diplogram. Diplogram means what? Uh, the process of transfer of pollen grain. The process of transfer of pollen grain from the anther to the stigma of the another uh, another flower of the same plant, another flower. Suppose you think, you think about this mango tree, the di different flowers of the same plant, different flowers of the same plant. So the the, the, the pollen grain will come from the one flower and it will pollinate to the other flower, it will place to the stigma of another flower. So this process is known as what is genogamy. And functionally is genogamy and uh, cross pollination, but genetically, uh, genetically it is similar to the autogamy. Next is genogamy. Genogamy means the process of transfer of pollen grain from anther to the stigma of a different plant of the same species. Different plants of the same species. The process of transfer of pollen grain from the anther of the from the anther to the stigma of the different plants of the same species. And uh, this is the only pollination which brings about the genetical change the next generation. Because suppose this is one plant and this is another plant, this is one plant, this is another plant. So the pollen grains uh, from one plant, suppose this is also mango plant, this is also mango plant. So the pollen grain from the, uh, from the from this plant, from this plant, uh, it will come to the, uh, it will help to pollinate the stigma of the another, uh, another flower of the uh, same species. So genetically, genetically, uh, it will, it, it has the ability to bring about the genetical changes of the next uh, generation. So uh, that is evolutionary, uh, it is considered to the genogamy. Genogamy is considered to the highly evolved, evolved process. Next. Now we will discuss about this, the agents of pollination. So there are two different types of agents, that is the plant is two avertic agents. Avertic agent means what? One is called the wind and another is called the water, avertic, no light at all. And another is biotic, but especially it includes all animals, act as an agent to actually pollination in case of the one plant, uh, cloning plants. Now, you know that uh, there are several types of pollinations, wind pollinations, animophily, then hydrophily, water pollination, and then uh, 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 pollination by insects. Insects. Now, what are the features of this wind pollination? The pollen gates in case of the winds, you know that uh, the pollen gates, pollen gates uh, will, uh, will, uh, will fly or will go away from one place to the other place uh, with the help of air current, air current. So that's why the pollen are having the lightweight, it should be lightweight and non-sticky, non-sticky and uh, large open feathery stigma and having a single ovule in, a, in each ovule, single ovule. Next, feature of the water pollination, water pollination is hydrophily. What are the aquatic plants? That is Elstaria, Hydrilla, Jostera, Water Hyacinth, and Water Lily, etc. These are the examples of these uh, <coughs> aquatic plants. Aquatic plants, and they are the female flowers with long stalk, the female flowers with long stalk, and pollen grains are long, sometimes ribbon like structures, and pollen grains are protected with, uh, by Mutually with us covering uh, for uh, to, uh, to to protect it from the uh, wetting. Mutually with this covering is up here. And uh, features of the insect pollinate flower: the flowers are long, flowers become long, uh, showy, colorful, and fragrant. Good makes sweet smell will come, uh, which attract the which attract the. Uh, insects, uh, butterflies, and many other uh, bees, uh, flies, uh, and, and rich, rich, rich nectar, the sweet 
juice, the sweet juice of the uh, flower, and which will uh, attack the insects uh, and act as the uh, pollinating agent. So this is these are the uh, agents of, of pollination.